Hey everyone, Ray Sawvel, RaySawvel.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through IP exclusions and the Google Analytics opt-out browser extension. This is going to be very beneficial if you want to have cleaner data and set this up very quickly within Google Analytics. If that's the type of video you are looking for, make sure to stick around. Before jumping into today's video, if you do have a quick moment, please consider subscribing. Right now, only about 8% of the people who are watching this video are presently subscribed. It'll really help out the channel to ensure that YouTube recommends this type of video to other people that are just like you. So if you do have a quick second, please consider doing it. It'll help me out a lot. Thanks. Ensuring that IP exclusions are set up in Google Analytics properly will allow you to navigate your data in a much cleaner way. If you have a smaller sample size of data to look at, having your sessions off by even one user can really skew things. So ensuring that you have IP exclusions set up is a really quick way to make sure you're looking at proper data sets. Now I have my website loaded up here in the background and because I obviously have Google Analytics installed on the website, if I go to my real time view, you're going to see that one user is on the site right now. They are in Waukesha, which is in Wisconsin. That's where I'm at, uh, or pretty close to it, I should say, right now. And what this says is that I am currently on the website. Now, if I am bouncing around the site, this is going to inflate my sessions, causing me to say, hey, I'm getting all of a sudden a ton of traffic, and now I want to get rid of it. This can also be impactful if you have a corporate business and you have a lot of employees internally that are navigating your website. It can inflate sessions and make things like conversion rate or bounce rate and change around those metrics and just give you an unclean data set. So ensuring that you have IP exclusions set up is a really quick way to, to look at better data. So if you want to go ahead and do this, all you have to do is go to the admin tab in Google Analytics in the bottom left hand corner of your website of Google Analytics. And then on the right hand navigational panel, you see filters over here. Now, once you get to the filter section, you can add a new filter to exclude your IP address. And I'm going to call this exclude home office. And then when you get to the filter section, select custom, go to filter field. We are going to search for IP and we want to get rid of IP addresses. And then all we have to do is paste in our IP address. Now, if you're not a nerd like me and you don't know what your IP address is by heart, all you have to do is go to Google search in what is my IP and Google will tell you what my IP address is. I have this blurred out right now, but you get the idea. You can just kind of copy this and then you paste this IP into the filter pattern section here. And then we can exclude that and you click save. Now what this will do if I refresh my real time view over here. So if I go to my real time view, go back to my website, refresh it over here and refresh it over here. What should happen here after a few seconds if you do this properly is you should start to see this go away. And it might take a few minutes for that to go away. It can take up to five minutes, sometimes slightly longer, but if you exclude that IP address, you will be good to go. And of course, seconds after I stop talking, look at this, I get excluded right here. So now you can tell that my IP address is, is excluded and we are good to go. Now the next application here is to exclude a range of IP addresses. This will be important if you have multiple machines um, that, that, that you want to get rid of. So again, if you go back to your filter section and you add a new filter, you can ensure that you block multiple IP addresses. So if we go back to the same setup here where we go to filters, custom IP addresses, what you can go ahead and do is you can filter out a set of IP addresses through regex. So you could do, um, let's say your IP address is like, something like this, you could do like wildcard. So you could do exclude 192.168.1. wildcard everything after that. So if your IP address is a bunch of consecutive numbers, one after another, you could put in the first several strings and then put an asterisk, which is the wildcard signal to ensure that you get rid of everything after that. So that, that's another option. This is slightly more advanced and I'll make sure to have a link down below in the description to have more details on how to exclude a bunch of different IP addresses. So um, you can go that route. Um, but the one other option that I want to go through, if you work with a lot of different client websites and you don't want to exclude your IP address on every single client website that, that you work with, you can install this Chrome extension called the Google Analytics opt-out browser add-on. And what this will do, this will ensure that the analytics.js tag will not fire whenever you have this Chrome extension running. So this will pretty much opt you out of all tracking and it makes it for a pretty clean user experience. And it's very simple to install because it's just a Chrome extension. So all you need to do in this instance is go to get Google Analytics opt-out browser add-on. Click on it, it'll take you directly to the Chrome web store. Click add to Chrome, add extension. And then right away, it'll be added up here. And then next time that you visit any website that has Chrome on it, 
you will see that my Google Analytics opt-out extension is running, and now I'm opting out of Google Analytics. So um, you can toggle that on or off on websites that you are visiting. So you can um, click exclude this on this site. You can remove it on specific areas, but this is another cool extension that you can have enabled to ensure that you're not tracking on Google Analytics so you're not skewing your data. And that's it. It's very simple for IP exclusions. It's a very easy way to ensure that your data is clean, it is neat, and it's exactly what you're looking for. If you have any questions regarding how to exclude IP addresses, make sure to drop a comment down below. I'll make sure to help out. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. It'll ensure that YouTube recommends this type of video to people just like you. So thanks so much. And until next time, talk to you later. Thanks. See ya.